will show here an example of finding domain of the function that have a variable in the denominator. In case like this, we have to guarantee that the denominator is never zero. So the process of finding the domain in the case like this consists of two steps. One is to solve the equation denominator equals zero, and the other one is simply write the uh, formula for the domain. So the first step here is to solve the equation. Denominator, which is x cubed minus 5x, is equal to 0. To solve that equation, we need to factor it, and we can factor x out, and we'll have x times x squared minus 5 is equal to 0. The product here is equal to 0, therefore one of, the solu one of the factors has to be 0, so x is one factor, x could be 0, or x squared minus 5 could be 0. The x equal 5 is already solution, now we need to deal with x squared minus 5. We'll move 5 to the other side, so add 5 to both sides, it's a quadratic equation where only x squared is um, present, therefore we can use the square root method and we'll end up with x equals plus or minus square root of 5. So there are two solutions to this part of that equation. Once we have the solutions, we go to step 2, we simply write the domain. Domain of the function f is the set of all x's such that x is different than any of the solutions, x different than 0, plus square root of 5, and minus square root of 5. And that's the domain of that function. We can use any value of x as long as it is not 0, square root of 5, and negative square root of 5.